Hey guys, today we are going to talk about seven cards that have been going up in price and the rationale behind them. So back to basics. Originally, I believe this was a card on the reserve list. I have to double check, but I don't believe it is. Back to Basic was a very good card in Urza Saga. It was a great cyborg card where it's always remained. It doesn't see play in modern because it's not legal in modern, so sees some play in ED8s and some play in the older like vintage and legacy. So good card, definitely one of the older cards. Uh, Non-basic lands do not untap during your controller's untap phases. And until recently, it wasn't as valuable. So even during, it looks like Eternal, Eternal Masters, it dodged the reprint bullet and then went straight up to over $30. And now it's around, well, it's straight up to $24. And now it is around $21.50. So a great card if you have it. The older cards are just going much higher in price. I wouldn't particularly buy this card, but I would look into the next card. The next card is quite interesting given the price point. I like cards that are not overly expensive. I like cards between two to four dollars, and this kind of makes sense. The Shadow More version. Now it has been reprinted, and there was a deck. There was a seismic assault deck where you would pitch a mountain to deal two damage to this. Then you draw two cards, and then you would pitch, you know, a few more mountains, and it would be an infinite combo. It's not the most efficient combo, but that being said, it's a breakable combo. Like it's a very, very strong combo in EDH as well as even modern. It's slower than it should be, but should another card add either repetition or speed, then I see this card being far more expensive. I like it. I mean, I like this one and I like the reprinted version of it. The reprint uh, was so, so low at one time, but I preferred the original Shadowmoor. Shadowmoor, just as a set, I think there's a collectability of it. A lot of people who played Magic missed this set. They were not playing during this time. A lot of people quit and they want to know and all these cards are spiking because there's, ve there's very high demand. The artwork was very beautiful. Next, we'll talk about this card, uh, Lord of the Vault, four double black, mythic, intimidate, legendary creature zombie, that's very important. X black, put target artifact or creature card with converted mana cost X from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Then that player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. So very good. You can play the X black as many times as you want, and you can grab as many things as you want. But obviously the price point, the reason that it is going up in price is the popularity of zombies. A lot of these cards are EDH specific. That means that there's not much playability even in modern formats for them. Modern has gotten a little stale. Standard is on the brink of like people just leaving. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Alliance. Once Alliance was over, a lot of people left during that time period. I remember getting the Inquest magazine and thinking, oh wow, these prices are really good. I wonder what's happening. And at that time, Wizards of the Coast had physical stores. Uh, Urza Saga, I think Urza Saga was the first set that they had a physical store in my mall. But yeah, I think that's kind of what's happening right now is everyone's just playing ed 8 Ponder, now this is a, in my opinion, a very ugly Ponder. Like it's not the one that you want. Um, it's not the one that even has a small amount. Like I don't like the artwork and that's my preference. But as a textless was probably a unrepeatable idea. Like the concept of having a card without text on it is very confusing to new players. And it's very confusing when you play this at new players because they don't know what it does. Now the point was they would be so iconic that you don't know, but Ponder is not played in modern. And a lot of these cards, Bitomless Blast, maybe it was iconic when it came out, but in time it just hasn't scaled well and now no one really wants to play it. 
I think these are great investments. I think they are things that will never be printed again. And therefore, if you can get the full arts, they are well worth uh, trying to get them because they will be collector's items. If not today, then tomorrow. The next card I want to talk about is a type of card. And this card has spiked a ton. And the spike is due to profit of Krufix. But it has settled down. So the card was around $10. Spiked to, let's say, $25, maybe $26 and is now back to $22. Seedborn Muse, very good card. Is it as good as Profit of Krufix? No, it's just not, but Profit of Krufix is banned. So I, I do speculate that if you had control of the ban list and you were a single Magic player and you banned Profit of Krufix or you knew it was going to happen because you're the person choosing to do that, you would just buy all the Seedborn Muses, right? That would make sense to me, right? Would be like, wait a second. This is such an obvious card to go up in price. So why don't we just buy them? And that's why I think it's kind of meant to have the EDH ban restricted list or the EDH ban list determined by like one dude. Because this is a very good example of what happens when that one dude knows ahead of time when the card what card's going to be banned. It's so obvious, right? Great card. I do have multiple play sets of it just randomly because no one wanted them at the time. And talking about multiple play sets of a card, my goodness, no one wanted this card. It is just a very ugly card in my opinion and it is semi-okay. I mean, zombies have always been a very strong tribe, but anytime there's been a zombie fiend block, which Amaket actually was had better zombies than the horror theme block, which is surprising, but we had back-to-back -back zombies, right? We had the Aldrich Moon, Shadows over the Innistrad, and now we have the Almaket Hour Devastation. So zombies have... People want to play them casually, and that's what... So I think Wizard of Coast is correct in that the large majority of players, maybe 99% of players, will never ever go to a GP... They'll never go to a FNM, which is why I'm critical of their decision to get rid of the promos to begin with, when they should actually be adding more stuff to get more people to come, not trading stuff, right? Just add it. It costs pennies to add something. But my understanding is casual play groups are dominant, and it really sucks for local game stores. Like, that is... Um, I've seen a trend where everyone online is like, buy from Card Kingdom, buy from TCG Player, buy from my, me. I mean, local game stores are in trouble because A, they don't have attendance, and B, everyone's buying stuff online now for the cheapest price or because they like a MTG, quote, celebrity. All right, let's end with a standard card, and this card is very good, and I love it so much. I actually had one of these during the pre-release, and I was like, oh, this is not bad. Champion of Wits, 2 and a blue for a 2-1. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, you draw cards equal to its power if you do discard two cards. It has Externalize for 5 and double blue, so when it, you do that, it's a 4-4 four, four zombie. And then you draw four and discard two. That is very, very good. Because uh, you can dump stuff that you need in the graveyard from your hand. Like You get to choose which two cards you discard. And that is incredibly important. Uh, I like the card. A 2-1, it's a very good blocker initially to save you. And then as a finisher, like drawing four, discarding two is really good because the two is probably you probably have at least one land maybe two lands and then another useless card and you're it reminds me a lot i mean it's not this card right but it reminds me a lot of that delve card from concha tarkir dig through time it's not as powerful as dig dig is seven but it's pretty good because you get to keep the two that you actually want anyway that is it if you think i missed anything leave me a comment below bye guys